All right, welcome back to the Island Contracting United Sports Call. Let's go out to Matt in Mount Lebo. How you doing, Matt? Matt, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Malzi, love the undershirt. Want to get one, but let's get, let's get, let's get to the point here. So, uh, Pitt West Virginia backyard brawl, awesome. Going, can't wait. Um, don't believe ESPN's thing about 75% West Virginia going. Fans, Pitt fans aren't going to go. But I want to talk about the Steelers. I want to talk about the offensive line. Here's what I want to talk about. How are they going to get rid of guys that have played for the Steelers, like LeGlue and all these guys, and then give up draft picks to pick up a, a pick from the Vikings who like, you don't know about? Like, I, don't, I don't get their thought process here. All right. They only gave up a seventh, uh, what was it, a sixth-round pick, and they got a seventh. It was a, con- back. It was a conditional yeah. seventh for the Jesse Davis deal. Oh, yeah. Malik the, Reed was the Malik Reed had the sixth, sixth. and then you know the seventh involved there. Davis is also a Dolphins former, uh, you know, a former Dolphins lineman, and I think Brian Flores knows him. So I would bet uh, that there's some connection there. LeGlue, I believe, right, uh, Richie cleared waivers back in the practice squad. Yeah, he's back squad. in the practice squad. Uh, so he might make another appearance. In fact, probably will because their line that they have currently can't be trusted to do anything. I, I don't know. Like, are we? Wait a minute. If the call, if the nature of the call is, oh, you can't go against these guys that have been on the roster. None of them are good. Like, they should be trying to throw every little bit of you-know-what at the wall to see what sticks with that group because if they don't find something, let's be real clear here, as excited as a lot of people, myself included, are about Kenny Pickett, as much money as they've invested in their defense and as good as it should be, Richie, if that line plays anything like they did in the preseason, this is going to be a very long, very painful affair. You know, the Bengals invested into their line. Here's a tweet. Uh, Sean Kramer tweeted us. He said, I think the Steelers should bring in tackle Alex Leatherwood. Would you? I mean, I, why not, right? I guess only in the sense that, like, it's, again, another player you can throw against the wall and see if he sticks, but that guy's failed miserably. Uh, he needs a change of scenery. you got to pick up some money there, but sure, why not? I'm open to virtually anyone. Jason Peters, he's 40. Ah. Andrew Whitworth want to do anything? He's 41. They're better than what the Steelers have. Yeah, I... I mean, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'll take anything right now. Uh, I don't know who is out there, but Chris, I enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for calling. Hopefully you make the switch over to KDK News right now.